I used to trust the system to do things with integrity and with some transparency. That was before a February shooting outside East High School that left one student dead, and another one in March that sent two deans to the hospital. Incidents that shook Steve Katsaros. Well, I have two sons. One is here at McAuliffe and the other one is at East High. He's part of a new school safety group. The more I look into this, I've grown to realize that all transparency is, is broken. And he's frustrated by a lack of answers from Denver Public Schools. The latest example? DPS policy requires that all contraband be photographed, including weapons. It even illustrates how the picture should be taken. Images used in suspension and expulsion proceedings. I did not know that there was a policy to photograph weapons as they were seized at the schools. Here's a picture of what we know of the 2021-22 school year. DPS told us it confiscated 13 guns. But when we asked for the photos, the district said releasing them would violate the public interest in protecting student privacy. Student privacy is maintained. These are objects. They're inanimate objects. It's a spoon or a, a, a Swiss Army knife or a 9 millimeter gun. DPS also said it had to protect the intelligence gathering process and safety concerns. Wholesale saying in perpetuity we will never release these is wrong. And it said the images do not add anything meaningful to the public discourse and could create panic, confusion, and or concern among our students, families, and the community. Don't tell me that I can't handle the truth. Don't tell me that these things are uh, should to be hidden from me as a parent. We asked for a DPS administrator to come on camera to discuss this specific issue. Instead, they told us they would only talk about school safety in general. In the meantime, Katsaro says his group already has about 800 people signed up. They're determined to do something about school safety. It's certainly something that people might want to know more answers about, and I'm sure you'll continue to investigate as well. We have a lot more questions. We're trying to get answers. All right. Thank you, Kevin.